Okay, let's talk about pre-calculus versus calculus. What are the similarities? What are the differences? Well, one similarity is they both share the uh, word calculus in the title. But uh, beyond that, there are pretty significant um, differences between these two courses. And right here, I have uh, an example of something that you would be studying in a pre-calculus course. And then here's an example of something that you would be studying in a calculus course. But uh, the whole point of this video is just to give you some general information on uh, what you're going to see in a pre-calculus course versus a calculus course. But to really more importantly, um, I really want to stress the importance in doing well in pre-calculus to be ready uh, for calculus. That's really my main message here. But uh, before we get going, uh, let me go ahead and quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. I'm also going to leave a direct link to my pre-calculus math course. Okay, I, I like to believe it's one of the most comprehensive pre-calculus online pre-calculus courses out there. So if you're in pre-calculus or going to be taking pre-calculus, or maybe you're in calculus and you feel like you didn't really learn what you needed to learn in pre-calculus, well, you can check out my pre-calculus course. It would definitely help you out. But uh, if you um, are not at those levels and you're just having a difficult time in mathematics and just curious about uh, pre-calculus and calculus, well, I can help you out. Okay, so maybe you're not getting enough math instruction. Maybe you're not connecting with your teacher's teaching style. I've been teaching math for decades, and my style of teaching is to break things down in super, super clear and understandable kind of bite-sized pieces. I like to explain math. I don't like to teach math, okay? I like people uh, to really like, oh, okay, I get that, because I'm not teaching like a textbook, okay? So I can definitely help you out. If you're at the middle school, high school, or college level, you definitely want to check out my math help program. Now, if you're preparing for any test that has a math section, I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, ASVAB, Accuplace or CLEP exam, maybe a teacher certification exam, uh, many of those exams that I've mentioned will have pretty advanced mathematics like pre-calculus and even some calculus. So uh, if you're preparing for any of those type of exams, I can help you prepare and pass. If you homeschool, I definitely um, have a fantastic homeschool math um, library, uh, course catalog, and curriculum, something that you definitely want to check out. And if you don't have any math notes, well, I'm going to leave links to my math uh, notes in the description of this video as well. But if you want great grades in math, you have to learn how to take great math notes. So start improving your notes, and you'll see your grades improve right along uh, with your improved notes. Okay, so let's get into this. By the way, um, out of curiosity, how many of you out there are taking pre-calculus currently or plan on taking uh, pre-calculus? Okay. And uh, how many of you are considering it? And what are some of the things that have you concerned? Okay, how do you, uh, you know, what's your decision-making factor? Are you saying to yourself, oh, this is too hard. Maybe I'll take statistics. Maybe I'll go in a different direction because, you know, I'm not going to become an engineer. Just curious, what's your um, thinking around pre-calculus or maybe calculus? Put that into the comment section. I think that would be interesting for uh everyone to see, including myself, but let's get into it now, okay? And this is just some real general comparison, okay? So pre-calculus versus calculus. Now, if a uh, student is going to take calculus, for the most part, this is like a first uh, year uh, college course, okay? So first year college, most students take calculus if they're going to take calculus as like a freshman in, in uh uh, college. Okay, so you might take this in your first and second semesters um, as a um, uh, university math student, but you can take calculus as a senior in high school, calculus AP. That's really an accelerated course. So pre calculus, most students will probably take this in the 12th grade. Okay, so uh, some out there will take this in 11th grade. Now, if you took this in the 11th grade, all right. That means you could possibly take Calc uh, AB, okay, like an AP course in high school, right? So this is really accelerate, accelerated. And by the way, these courses, these uh, AP courses in high school, they're right on par with what you're going to get at a university, okay? There's some really excellent high school uh, AP uh, calculus teachers out there. So... Uh, you know, it's a big deal if you're at this level. But in order to be at this level, think about it, you would have to be taking pre-calculus in 11th grade and just kind of, you know, do the reverse engineering 
That means in 10th grade, before pre-calculus, you're at the Algebra 2 level. And the 9th grade, you were probably taking Geometry, which means that in the 8th grade, you were taking Algebra 1. So you, to get to this um, uh, point right here, as a senior in high school, you will, you know, you, you had to kind of been on an accelerated track way back in even in middle school, okay? But I would say the definitely uh, most, the majority of students are going to be taking pre or uh, calculus, uh, came out of a pre calculus course as like a senior in high school. So if you're at this level, then you're right on track, okay? All right, and you'll place into it. So like a lot of my test prep courses, like the AccuPlace or Alex exams, uh, uh, these are placement tests that universities use to see if you have the skills to place into a calculus course. Okay, so you're going to have to prove that you learned something, not just your grades and transcripts. Uh, it all depends on the college and whatnot, but typically you're going to have to take a uh, placement exam as well because you got to be ready for calculus and you have to know what's in calculus. All right, so that's the first thing that we want to talk about, just kind of when do you take these courses? Where do most people take these courses? Now, the second thing I want to talk about is why do you need to take calculus? Why, what's the, you know, why would a person take calculus? Well, you're only going to take calculus for the most part if you have a major, a degree, that requires that. Okay, this is, uh, calculus is not uh, typically, it's almost never, a requirement for your uh, college um, to get a uh, to get a degree. Okay, so like myself, okay, I went to school on a full uh, Navy scholarship and NROTC scholarship, and uh, you, calculus was required as a naval officer. You need uh, calculus, you need physics, and all that kind of stuff like that. It wasn't required. Well, I was a math major, but. Uh, there could be people, people majoring in a liberal arts degree, but you still had to take calculus. So unless you're in some sort of kind of program like that, uh, you're not going to be required to take calculus for every single degree. Uh, so most people, if you're like a liberal arts major, you might have to go up to like, say, college algebra, which is not as difficult as pre-calculus, okay? So you're only going to take calculus um, uh, for a particular degree, program, or track. And this would kind of be like your STEM uh, uh, degree. So science, technology, engineering, mathematics. If you're going that route, you, you for sure have to start taking calculus as a freshman, okay? Because there's a lot of years of math that you're going to have to do. Because calculus isn't the only course you're going to be taking. You're going to be taking uh, differential equations, uh, linear algebra, uh, a lot of additional courses as well, especially if you're going to become an engineer um, or physicist or whatever the case is. You're going to be taking a lot of math. So you got to get going um, with your calculus, uh, you know, as a freshman. And oftentimes, calculus is a three-semester course. So you'll have, you'll have uh, multivariable, uh, single-variable calculus, multivariable calculus. So these are broken up generally in semesters as well, okay? But again, if you, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, if you're interested in a degree that is a STEM-related field, then you have to be thinking that you're probably going to be taking, well, you're absolutely going to be taking calculus. So as uh, when you're in high school, though, and you're thinking about pre-calculus, let's say you're not sure what you're going to major in and you're doing pretty well in math. I would suggest taking pre-calculus just to be ready for the option uh, for you to um, take calculus because you're not going to be able to take calculus unless you get through uh, pre-calculus. So it's a good idea just to take this. Now, some, uh, some of you out there, instead of doing pre-calculus, right, let's say you're not going to major in a STEM field, then you might think about like a, a stats course, a statistics course, which is a good choice if you're absolutely certain that you're not going to uh, end up in some sort of engineering field. But I would say, if you're not sure, definitely uh, track towards pre-calculus, okay? All right, so uh, hopefully this kind of just sets up the general um, idea of, you know, who takes calculus, why do you need to take calculus, when would you take calculus, you know, and, and what's kind of going on in high school. But now let's go ahead and talk about um, how important pre-calculus is to uh, learning calculus. And then I'm going to kind of quickly just kind of go over some, some of the things you'll see in each course. So I'm going to tell you right now, 
you're going to have a very difficult time in calculus if you did not master pre-calculus. Pre-calculus, it's absolutely critical that you get this down, okay? You learn all these concepts. So if you're taking pre-calculus, you'll just know how important that is to your success in calculus, okay? So that's why you want to take good notes and you really, really want to do as well as possible. So, um, you know, uh, pre-calculus is not calculus, though, okay? So just to be clear, you're going to get some basic introduction to calculus concepts, but you're not going to be really doing calculus, all right? So let's kind of go back to our little problems uh, up here. This is like part of trigonometry, more advanced trigonometry that you learn in pre-calculus. You really need to learn a lot of trigonometry in uh, pre-calculus because you're going to see a lot of trigonometry in calculus. But in calculus, you're going to be more focused on new concepts. Now, sometimes in pre-calculus, there is a quick light introduction to some calculus concepts like differentiation and integration. But, uh, you know, sometimes teachers run out of time and are more focused on what they got to teach you. So let's talk about some of the topics here in pre-calculus that you really got to master. So uh, the first thing is you're going to need to know all your algebra. Okay, this is stuff that you learned in Algebra 1, Algebra 2. So I'm talking about things like uh, systems, just solving equations, linear equations, graphing lines. You absolutely must have all that mastered. But some additional uh, topics from Algebra, especially Algebra 2, that you're going to see again would be like logarithms okay gonna have to really know logarithms this is typically taught um, at the algebra 2 level so you might see it again in pre-calculus uh, trigonometry pretty much like a third to a half of a pre-calculus course well maybe like a good yeah maybe a third to a half is going to be trigonometry all right like three or four or five chapters on trigonometry advanced trigonometry polar um, uh, equations. Uh, there's just a ton of stuff. Um, law of sines and cos cosines. There's a lot of trigonometry that goes beyond right angle trigonometry. So a huge part of what you need to understand from pre-calculus is all the advanced trigonometry stuff. So let's take a look at some other things that you're going to learn in uh, pre-calculus. Um, matrices, how to deal with matrices. Uh, let's see here, vectors. Uh, you would have parametric equations. Uh, let's see here. Um, I'm just kind of just, uh, oh, conic sections. Okay, conic sections. Huge, like the equations of circles, ellipse, hyperbolas. Uh, a huge one is sequence and series. Okay, this is huge because sequence and series comes into play in calculus. Okay, so you need to know all of this stuff. And I'm just kind of just going by memory right here. What's uh, some of the main uh, concepts or uh, chapters that are in um, uh, pre-calculus, okay? So it's a lot of stuff because when you show up to calculus, okay, your instructor uh, expects you to have mastered all this. They're not going to go back and reteach you this. They're going to be like, okay, you know this stuff. Here's another one, functions, okay? That's another big thing. So domain, range, functions, uh, how to deal with, uh, 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 let's see here. Let me just go a few, a few more uh, topics. Uh, partial fractions. Okay, I teach this. this. is very difficult stuff. This is not so easy. Uh, partial fractions. Let's see here um, how to deal with like rational equations, uh, your asymptotes, your horizontal and vertical asymptotes. So I'm just kind of like kind of throwing some stuff out there. If you never studied this stuff before, but just you kind of just see there is quite a bit in a pre-calculus course. Now this stuff isn't going to be taught directly in calculus okay you're, this is kind of the big leagues this is perf you know like hey your teacher expects you to know all this stuff but in calculus you're going to start uh, learning it kind of starts off this way okay i'm just kind of breaking it up uh, real informally so there's like a pre-calculus component to calculus i'm going to call pre-calculus and in here you learn things called like about limits okay things uh have to do with limits and limits look like um uh what happens it's basically the behavior when something goes to a particular number so oftentimes it's infinity and whatnot but you need to understand the concept of limits and you're not actually doing calculus, but you the, some of the some oftentimes this stuff like limits is taught in pre-calculus at the very end if a teacher has time for it. So it's limits, 
um, uh, some of the times too, you're going to be kind of do a quick algebra review. You'll do like a real quick, maybe crash course on some of these topics and whatnot, but you're going to learn about, um, uh, limits for sure. Okay. And then you get into, uh, the beginnings of, uh, what a derivative is, okay, and then integration. So there's two big components for like single variable calculus, uh, differentiation and integration. So you're going to deal with these things called dy, dx. What is a derivative? What's the first derivative? What's the second derivative? What's even the third derivative? You know, what this is, how do we find it? And you're going to be done with a lot of rules, okay? And then integration is this stuff, okay? Like uh, you're basically finding the area underneath the curve, which is completely different than uh, the derivative. But these are the two big, big, big um, uh, concepts that you learn in calculus, differentiation and integration. And uh, before you start into these uh, two big, and typically, let me just, I know I'm kind of stumbling around here. When it, we're uh, talking about differentiation, this could be like, you know, a couple, two, three, four, four chapters, same thing with integration. But before you get going for the first month or so of uh, calculus, you're going to start kind of learning some kind of things that you might see in pre-calculus. Again, things like concept of limits, et cetera. Okay. And maybe a quick, depending on how nice your teacher is, they might do a quick like algebra uh, review just to make sure you're up to speed on all of this stuff. Okay. But this is not going to be much time and you're going to jump right in to uh, differentiation and integration. And then this would be a pretty classic uh, single variable uh, calculus one or calculus a uh, type uh, course. Okay. And then if you finish that, then you can move on to a second semester or Calc B type course and just kind of keep going from there. But you need to know this stuff, okay? They expect you. You're going to see sequence and series uh, concepts uh, as you're doing calculus. You're going to be working with conic sections, you know, like uh, cones and, and all kinds of crazy uh, figures. You're going to need to know the equations. You're going to be working with vectors, okay? You might see matrices. You're definitely working with functions. You're going to need to know partial fractions. Uh, logarithms you're going to need to understand. You're going to need to know a huge amount of trigonometry. Okay. So this stuff is just, you've got to know this. It's a foundation and it's a lot. Okay. So what's in pre-calculus is a considerable amount of mathematics. This is a serious uh, math course and you got to be really ready for it. And um, before you take pre-calculus or decide that you're going to take it, make sure you've done, uh, you, you did a you know, good job in algebra two or maybe college algebra. So if you're not sure, uh, let's say you're at the college level or you're gonna be going to college, you're thinking about you're out of high school, uh, I would suggest, it all depends on where you're at. If you know that you're gonna be taking calculus, you know, at least uh, one thing that you could consider, you might skip college algebra if you just wanna do some independent review and jump right into uh, pre-calculus and really you know, try to give yourself like a full year to master all this, then I think you'll be in a nice position to uh, uh, roll right into a calculus course. But calculus is a serious topic. I mean, this is, you know, you're talking, you know, um, you know, advanced level mathematics, but it's an awesome topic. Everyone can um, pass a calculus course, but it requires a lot of work and a lot of preparation. Okay, so you, hopefully this video helped you out in terms of navigating or navigate a track uh, toward, you know, what to do in your education, but things that you want to consider, okay, and some, hopefully some inside information. So if you're ever curious about this, you know, now you have at least some basic sense of what the difference between pre-calculus and calculus is. So if this video helped you out in some small way, well, then go ahead and consider smashing that like um, button. That definitely helps me out in a big way. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, hopefully you'll consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years. I have over a thousand plus uh, math videos, basic math to uh, advanced math like calculus. So I do do, I do um, post calculus videos, single variable calculus videos. So um, I have a calculus playlist. So you can check that out. But uh, my best math help will always be within my math help program. Don't forget, I'm going to leave a link to my uh, pre-calculus course uh, in the description as well. Uh, so if you're thinking about any of this stuff, definitely check out my pre-calculus course. It will help you out tremendously. Okay. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.